Hey everyone, we are back with what's sold on eBay for Monday. Uh, had a huge weekend, and we found the last item we couldn't find too. Linda found it. She did a wonderful job, so shout out her. Uh, good sales number today. I know the dollar amount, and not a huge quantity either. So how did we do today? Uh, so today we had ten sales for a, almost six sixty. There's one huge one, and there's yeah. actually two that are kind of big. So, and then a bunch of bread and butter stuff. Anything you want to say? I just want to get to it. I know you're tired. Mm, yeah, no, no, I'm just tired. Yeah, it's a busy day, and tomorrow's my oldest son's birthday, plus work and everything else going on. We got a busy day, busy week, yeah. uh, holiday week here. So let's go <laughs> everything ahead. Everything happening in one week. <laughs> the end, well, just the end of the year for us is just rough. We have a lot of birthdays because your birthday's coming up. We have Noah's birthday, we have your my dad's, dad's birthday. birthday. We have Operation Christmas Child at church, Thanksgiving, All the church stuff. we had just had Halloween and Trunk or Treat, and then it's yeah. Christmas, and it's packed, and then kids, and, and just... And then for some reason, everybody wants to celebrate everything. Let's go ahead and get to it. Yeah, busy time of the year for us, so just makes the working and everything, balance and all, it's even harder. But we get it done, definitely helps us to have some extra money to pay for Christmas, because it's an expensive time too. So, let's get into it. First item that's sold, I believe it's a golf ball. Yeah, first up we have a Titleist 3-iron. This is a dynamic gold shaft. Ooh. And this sold for 25 and a half shipped. It's a 704 CB model, so keep that in mind. How much stuff for 26? So that's pretty much as low as you really want to be for a golf club because by the time you ship them out for 10 or 11 bucks, I probably paid a couple bucks for it. So yeah. Next up, we've got America's Germany hardcover from for 16 dollars, and it sold international to the global shipping program as well. So that's pretty cool. What sell for? 16 dollars. I think they pay like 30 bucks or something. It's oh, funny, international book yeah. buyers are paying a lot more money for stuff. They really want those books. Uh, but at least we're doing international, making some extra sales. We yeah. encourage you to do global shipping program. Encourage we encourage it highly. Yeah, we have a lot of success. We just told my sister to start doing it. So, Kylie. Some oh, people, I think they feel like, oh, it's going to be international, the international shipping price, all the paperwork and stuff. And it's like, nah, bruh. You they just handle get it to all Kentucky. That. <laughs> yeah. So, and usually the buyers there are paying a little more for shipping. So yeah, definitely sign up for Global Shipping Program because it's so easy. You get it to Kentucky and that's it. And you don't have to worry about anything else because eBay handles the rest. Yeah, we've got a couple returns where they said the item wasn't... Sometimes eBay's refunded them saying that it was an issue with them packing. A couple we, we were forced to refund. I didn't push back on it. Most people, though, they're paying more money for the shipping. I found the buyer... We found the virus to be very easy to work with. Yeah. So, um, and every once in a while, like I said, an issue, but for the most part, very, very high success. So we're happy with it. Next yeah. item. Next up, we've got Steve Vai's guitar workout. So the complete 10 hour and 30 hour practice. And that one sold for almost $10 shipped. Our little music book. Oh, we sold these. These are a return. Cameron made a mistake. Let the record show. Cam makes mistakes too. Yeah, because it's weird. The shoes aren't even the right way. Your first part probably won't put them on wrong. That does happen, guys. So these shoes we sold for $48 last time. Um, I copied the listing and did not change the title to a 12. They were a 10. I think I changed the listing, the description in there to the right one, like the item specifics, but not the title. So the buyer bought it, said, hey, I'm a size uh, 10, and these are a size 12. Not going to fit. Obviously, my fault. Returned it. Refunded them. They're still brand new. Listed them again, and they sold for Sold for forty eight dollars shipped, and those yeah. are a pair of Wonderlight Vinnies. Yeah, we paid five bucks for these. Um, the only problem is, is that um, because of the return shipping on the other one, and we offer free shipping, we're basically like breaking even at this point because of the my mistake. The sale pays for it. Yeah, so not a good deal on Cameron's Mistakes part. Mistakes are costly. Next item is a vinyl suicidal tendencies. This is an original, and it sold for thirty seven and a half shipped. It's from the LP. Buy the vinyl buy we had. If you guys were watching us during COVID, we sold a bunch of these early on. I mean, actually, a lot of this year we sold a bunch. Yeah, we did. We have quite a few left, but we've gotten through most of them. Next up, this is one of those Angry Bird plushes we told you guys about that some of these sell really good, even though they're not working or they don't make the noise or whatever. Yeah. We've sold and quite a bit of them. Yeah, this one itself, this is like the toucan. A little green bird, I think. Yeah, and he sold for $17 shipped. I think some of the prices have kind of stabilized on some of the Angry Birds, but if you see them, I mean, they're cheap at a garage sale. You can get them. 
Yeah, because I mean, time. there's their life. I sent an offer. This was listed at 20. Sent an offer for 17. We sold one for 38. We sold one for 10. I think maybe one more had sold. So it's crazy what people buy. Yeah, where I'm surprised sometimes, but yeah. it works. This item, it's like a third or fourth one to sell. This Margaritaville Margarita Makers. We love these things. Um, yep. This is the 36 ounce pitcher replacement. This is something we picked up with Kylie. Um, First and stop. First stop, and it sold for eighty dollars shipped. And I paid twenty five bucks or twenty bucks for the whole unit, and just that paid for. I would have paid it just for that piece because I knew how valuable it was. But we've also sold the other pieces too. Next up, we've got this set of Mizuno MX twenty five cog irons. This is uh, these clubs. If you look at them, they are heavily worn. Yeah. And the, I can't tell if that's supposed it's to almost, look like that or it's no, like it's hard not. water. It's like, yeah, I listed in the list that these really need to be like sanded and cleaned up. Yeah. So these, these Mizuno MX, we sold another set the other day for 270 The other Mizunos a while back. Yeah. So these Mizunos, in the condition that they are in, sold for $240. And, and he, that's for a pair, a pack of eight of them. And people want this S, I don't know if you can, you probably can't see this, S300 shaft with, I've had people both times when I had the Mizunos, they wanted to make sure they were the S300 shaft. Are they Whatever all going to have that red band on them? I don't know, though. They should say S300, though. Or this, yeah. It's a dynamic gold or whatever. Dynamic gold, SL. SL I don't know what it is. Probably should do some research on it. But either way, I spent... What are they? These are from Kylie Buy, too, I think. Yeah, they yeah. are, Kylie Buy. I, we buy both these irons and a whole bag of clubs. Lady had uh, 75 bucks for making an offer or something. And I said, hey, I want the Mizuno irons. I want a couple other clubs. How about I give you 25 bucks for what I want? And you can keep the bag and the rest of the driver and the woods and everything. She's like, no, no, no. What's your best offer on the bag and everything? And I'm like, how about I'll give you 40 bucks just for the golf clubs? And she's like, uh, how about you can have about 40. You can just take the bag and everything. And I'm like, I don't really want the bag. But she's like, just take it. I'm like fine. People was... <laughs> really don't like to keep their golf bags. They're like, and it was it wasn't worth them. it wasn't worth selling. It was like no. oh, a good one, but we spent forty bucks, and I was like, ah, oh, that's like okay deal. The Mizunos will probably go for like a hundred and something, and then a couple other clubs might sell. Well, first of all, there were three or four other clubs that I did that I wouldn't have picked up that are worth like thirty bucks a piece. So I would have passed on them. I had never heard of them, but these ones sold for way more than I thought. So that was awesome by there. That was a great my greatest golf day ever. My sister was there with me, so. Shout out, Kylie. Yeah, we Love have so many there. golf clubs. It's ridiculous. We've sold through some of them. We still have a lot left. Yeah. We can't even open the back door because there's so many golf clubs. No, we can. I do it every week to take trash out. Yeah, okay. Just because you can open it and shimmy through. No, there's mean... no shimmying. <laughs> we shimmy through the aisles here because of the That's new table we, we got. <laughs> anyway. Next up, we have a Canon Sure Shot. This is a 35 millimeter uh, camera. It is for parts or repair. If you listen... <laughs> that's where the little battery little piece of metal the battery hooks to it's inside there and it, it got corroded and it broke up it wasn't because of me it was like that so it came in a big lot of cameras but i ended but the... we still sold it for 16 dollars. this is a shipped. good camera to sell though if it does work these little sure shots will sell so the person told me to ship it like asap they want it right yeah. away i'm like why I'm like, Bro, it's a, <laughs> for a parts broken. camera and you bought it today so calm down Fair last man. item Last item for tonight right now is a two-pack of 25-pound Gold's Gym's Olympic Grip Weights. Um, they are very dirty and dusty. And well, they were on the ground. And they were on the ground because they're heavy. I cleaned them up before the listing, but um, they were sat on the, underneath one of the shelves because where else am I going to put them? Yeah. And if I leave them out and Zane can see them, he'll grab them. Like, he grabs all the other weights and, like, he makes like up. he's like uh, the guy from kid from home alone he like makes, makes like stuff, traps yeah. and like contraptions he'll tie like string to stuff and like set up trip wire I'm like what he's are you like, doing you can't get out i'm like, <laughs> we're like, like... three you little <laughs> crazy and so MacGyver over here <laughs> those two uh weights sold for 126 dollars shipped and luckily they're <laughs> going to california because otherwise we would not have done it because this is 50 pounds of weights right yeah here. i got them for 10 bucks so i knew that was a really good deal because you could sell them probably at least for a dollar a pound or 75 cents a pound at the lowest plus it's the gold's gym variety some people are like gold's gym they only want gold's gym stuff um, but it sold to california which is awesome it's still going to cost us probably quite a bit to ship but we're only in them for 10 bucks so yeah. we're going to make money um probably low risk of return we'll get them packed up and out of here so don't recommend selling a bunch of weights. During COVID, it worked really well. Now, depending on, especially with free shipping, you really don't want to do that. You want to make the person pay if they're going to pay. Set yourself up, you know, 
to sell them at the top of the market so you don't lose anything. Yeah. That's still a good buy for us. Happy to see them go. Ended up being a great sales week or a great sales day. Lynn will be back if anything else sells. Um, and I'm... Oh, fun fact. On the way to church, there is a weight, and I think it's a 25-pound weight, in the middle of the intersection. Right Why didn't before... you grab it? I don't know. <laughs> You I blew saw it. it. And you blew every it. time I go to church, because I go there multiple times a week, it's just in the middle of the intersection. What, the one, the one right by the church? Uh huh. And I look at it, I'm like, oh, well, here, today it's it's right here. And then I'll drive back, and it's like, oh, now it's over here. So, like, it's well, getting moved around. Well, it's also probably damaging some cars. So, <laughs> someone needs to move it. Cause I make sure to avoid it. That's not like hitting a little plastic bottle, man. That's a 25 <laughs> no. pound weight that'll jack you up. I'm like, I'm not going to be the one to, like, go like park my car yeah. and try to run in the intersection plus the intersection. people in our town can't drive they'll just hit you they'll yeah like, that's the yeah, thing yeah get out of the way man shouldn't have been no, there no no but i don't want to look like a little weakling going out there and trying yeah, to you can't pick even up pick it up you're like, oh gosh it's too heavy <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. terrible she's yeah. been working out a little yeah, I got bit from uh from cleaning from cleaning yeah pushing that broom and mop around yeah i've been working out too scrubbing windows and keyboard yeah his fingers like serious. <laughs> let me just flex a little bit you know my key my keyboard arms. Oh, gosh. No, anyways. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. We'll be back after this message. Hey, guys. So, you just saw that clip of us with our golf clubs. These nasty, nasty golf clubs. Let me pick one up. Okay. So, let's see if you can see that. You see all those spots on there? It's pretty gross, right? It's pretty gross. You can see it pretty good. Okay. Now, let me show you one after look at that <gasps> shiny you can see reflection in it right it's beautiful so i found a tick on or a trick on tiktok which is awesome oh it's doing the light thing okay i can still have that okay so i found a trick on tiktok for cleaning some stuff up and it is called the pink stuff right there this is a miracle cleaning paste so it is an abrasive cleaner so you do have to be careful with it but um you take a scrub daddy or a scrub mommy you put some paste on it and cameron is just i'll show you guys cameron is just scrubbing it along and this stuff gets off all hard water stains which is pretty awesome so a lot of people in the videos were like janitors and stuff or moms just doing cleaning videos and they will clean their sinks and stuff that have hard water stains on them so it goes from spotty to clean and that was seconds that was there literally was no seconds editing. yeah there's no you don't have to like let it sit you don't have to let it soak nothing you just he took the scrub daddy put it on there scrubbed it off wiped it off and look at that super shiny so from what it could be to what it is look at that look at that hey <laughs> I work here <laughs> so that is just a little trick and tip we wanted to show you guys so they have this stuff the pink stuff on amazon we'll try to put a link yeah we'll put a link in the in the uh, description box so you guys can check it out this is not even like the biggest one they have they have a bigger one than this which yeah. is pretty crazy and you said it was good for the sinks and other it's not yeah, just good for, for the sinks like, and all kinds of stuff you can use it on a lot of um your metal objects and you can clean them up and it does it actually got the rust stain off of one of these um, i don't know if i have another one to do it oh but anyways they also have a spray which is pretty cool um, and that one is a, a multi-purpose spray, so you can use it on more stuff than just things that can handle an abrasive cleaner. So, that's the stuff. Look at that, guys. The pink stuff by Star Drops. It's Teflon stained. It's awesome. So, and it's vegan. So, <laughs> there you go. Check that stuff out. And that's about all. We'll see you back in the clip. Thanks. Jim, but the one thing that did sell today is something we have a bunch of, and it's the first one to sell. It is one of these, like, Afghan blankets, homemade ones. This one's like a red, white, and blue one. We bought a bunch of these from Storage Unit Guy. I have like four bins full of them. Um, he had them all stacked up there. I was already making a pile for, I think, 250 bucks. He said 350 and I can take all the blankets. Um, he wanted 300 just for my box. I wanted to pay 250 but we agreed on 350 plus the blankets. This is the first one to sell. It's taken a little while. These Afghans do sell. This one's sold for $41 or 40 and 50 cents or something like that. So not too much, but it's not too big either. We'll get it packed up and out of here. I'm hoping the rest of them will sell and we'll make pretty good money, but it's been slow so far. So if anyone needs an Afghan, let me know. Um, anyways, that's all we got. And we'll be back with Tuesday sales next. We already have a bunch of sales, a couple of good ones to show you guys. Hey everyone, we are here with the What's Sold for Tuesday, my beautiful wife, Linda. 
and her orange hair all of it if you haven't seen it she dyed it all orange it's like two different colors though because this was already dyed orange but now she kind of like neon to yeah. this so it's a work in progress probably to make it all fully the same color i'm assuming we'll see well, who knows? She might be blue hair one day. Just check back with us to see. The suspense continues. <laughs> Anyways, how did we do today, babe, on the sales? Uh, today we had 16 sales for a total of $5.75. Really good day again. It's Q4 for us. Things are moving. We're happy. Um, not even that much stuff that's hard to pack, really. Uh, I think it's pretty decent stuff, so she'll have a good time with this. Anything you want to say before we get going? Round We went to round one today. That was our first time there. It was a fun arcade. Mm-hmm. Had a lot of good times. good times there, so that was cool for Noah's birthday. Turned to 11. Yeah, I mentioned that in the last clip that he had turned 11 today, so um, I did the little blanket. So crazy, because when I first met Linda, he was four. three. Well, he was three. Yeah. When I first started talking to you, he turned four. And then I met him, yeah. Yeah, and you met him like a month. No, you met him like a couple of days after that he turned four, I think. No. I didn't meet him before his birthday. You met him after, you met him he like a month after. Christmas. Yeah, the yeah. day after Christmas you met him. Yeah. So that means we've been together a long time. So I really uh, am thankful for those years. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. First item that's sold. Seems a little hard for you to push out right there. I want to make the people think that I'm still a good guy. Uh -huh. Some of them think I'm still really a really decent human being. <clears throat> Anyways, here's our first bestie buy of the night. This is right in the rain. All weather notebook. Um, and it sold for $20 shipped. So this is like a book. And this one's a little tiny book that's in there. Now these ones are ones that you can actually use, I guess, out in the field and stuff. They're supposed to be like weather resistant. Um, so yeah, they were in a big lot for a dollar and they sold for 20 bucks. There wasn't really a comp of them modded together. I lotted them together just because I had two pieces up by the same brand. So yep. pretty cool. Then we got a pair of fingerlings again. These We sold a couple of these over the weekend, a couple packs of these. This is another pack where you get two of them and they sold for $25 and some change. We're basically breaking even on those. Linda bought them retail arbitrage. We've had them for a while. Yeah, they're with, over a pound. So Yeah, you end up spending around 8 to 10 bucks, 12 bucks to ship them. And I think we're in them for about 10 So what's all awesome. We might make a couple bucks depending on if they're going close, but... They're all getting out of here. We have one full set left and then a couple of individuals. So yeah. I'm happy to see them go. If a retail arbitrage buy ends up breaking even, sometimes that's okay because not all of them are going to pan out. No, um, especially because like I held on to them, held on to them, held on to them. Thinking I, I listed them on, on my was, eBay. Yeah, he finally did. And I was like, oh, I'm supposed to put these on Facebook. Yeah. And then he's like, fine. So I did. And I actually sold a couple. three, yeah, I sold three packs on Facebook. So. Yeah, I had to put some pressure on her because she was just yeah. leaving them in a box for years. Um, anyways, again, we, and with retail arbitrage, when she first started, she was like anybody else, learning a lot of stuff. So some of the buys you made didn't pan out so well or were breaking even, and then some panned out really, really well, and you made it quite like, a bit of money. Yeah, you looked like you were a professional, so that was awesome. Yeah, because uh, I was walking around Walmart with an entire cart, cart full, full of full the of... same thing, and people are like, you're a weirdo. That's right. But yeah, she walked around with a whole cart full of Starbucks. Yeah, they had the little pods, and it was like six pods in a in a case or something and they like were that. The, they were, they the were the peppermint, peppermint mocha, yeah, the special the flavor one. for the holiday. Yeah, and I bought fifty boxes, <laughs> and so well, my she cart calls was me. Full. She's at Walmart. She goes, "These look like a good deal. Is it okay if I?" Yeah, put, like I sent him I a on? screenshot, and I was like, "Can I put it on the PayPal?" Because that's when we use PayPal all the time. And he's like, "Okay." He's like, "Okay, let's like do a, it." And so I did, and I, FB, I put them through FBA, and they sold so fast. Yeah, and all of a sudden they were just so selling. Much. She was the lowest price for yeah. a while, so they were just boom, boom, boom. And they sold really quickly. So, yeah, she's had some, some pretty good buys like that, like I said, that have really worked out. Yeah. So, no it worries there. Uh, next, this is a 1997 MacArthur Study Bible. It is New King James Version, and it sold for $50 shipped. And it's and in that, really good shape. Yeah, really good shape, actually. Usually you find nice. these, they got a little bit of wear. This one's in really great shape. Is that, how much is that, 50? 50? I think that's an offer to watchers that I sell. I think I had it listed at 58 or something like that. So yeah. a lot of times on the Bibles, list them a little bit higher with some room, wiggle room. That way, if I get a decent offer, if I send one out, you know, it's okay. Yeah. And every once in a while, someone comes and pays the full price. So. Then we got Game Party 3 for the Wii. This is with the manual and everything. Oh, sorry, no manual. And it sold for $12. A lot of the Wii change. game, the party ones end up selling. Like Wii Party, different stuff. Not just Mario's. I think it's because people want to have friends over and play the games and stuff. It can be fun. So. Then this is one of those ones to look out for. Dirty Jobs on 
DVD right here. So this is different seasons and collections. Yeah, like so, they have some are like the something filthy, and it's all the ones that are like the stinkiest or whatever, dirtiest. It says fish, fishy. I fishy, sorry, something fishy. The fishiest yeah, job. Yeah, so it's a bunch of different the ones. toughest jobs. Like, and there's also the seasons. It's like a there's weird season mix. or there's collection. Yeah, it's a weird totally mix. different ones. But we sold the one over the weekend season. I think it was collection seven for sealed, sealed for twenty five. No, it was more 35? than that. Thirty five. Yeah, and I paid a dollar a piece, and then yeah. we sold and then this, this set. this stack sold for a hundred and twenty-five dollars shipped. And that's ten of them. So we're ten bucks in. Best offer they offer like one twelve. I had it at one fifty. We met at one twenty-five. Thought that Just was crazy. fair. Um, and we got some MythBusters ones that should sell. Hopefully, I bought them. So look out for those Discovery Channel. Some of those series actually do pretty well. Yeah, definitely something you it's... should be looking at if you're watching our channel. I expect that by now. You guys are looking out at DVDs anyways, because hopefully we've shown you enough that some media is valuable. Don't go crazy like we are, but just keep little things like that in mind. So if you see them out there, you can make some money. Next up, we got this pair of True Religion runner they're jeans. They're weird. They're like... They have like um, the stretchy, like a stretchy, like a The whole thing is kind of stretchy, because yeah, even the are. waist is stretchy. But they feel like corduroy. Yeah, they feel like corduroy, but they're not. They're but they're not. not corduroy. It's so weird, they're, guys. But they're called like joggers, I guess, and they have like this little... Like, I guess if you want to look cool while you're running, you put on I don't on even jeans. know if you'd run if it's like to pretend like you're running but look cool. I don't even know. It's weird. It's weird. But they sold... <laughs> they sold for $35 shipped, and those were a bestie buy. Those were 5 bucks, I think. I, I'll still pay 5 bucks for True Religion, usually, but I try to get them cheaper now. They used to be like the brand when I first started reselling. Now, like, other brands have taken over, but there's still some value there if you can find them. Next, we got a pair of Ankyo surround speakers. These are just a surround left and a surround right, um, and those sold for $38 shipped. We bought an Ankyo system, 30 bucks, and it had the left and right, the surround left and right, the center speaker, the sub, which is over there still. We haven't listed it. I haven't listed it. And it had the receiver and the remote. The receiver was broken, and she knew that. Wait a I, minute, that thing's been sitting there, just sitting there, not It's listed? so big, I'm not sure if I, want to, if I want to ship it. But they all work except for the receiver. The receiver did not work. She said that. I've been moving that thing <clears> off that box of DVDs <throat> thinking, okay, one day this is going to sell. But it's never going to sell because it's not listed. I moved a box of fingerlings for multiple years that I, I spent money on that you were supposed to list. And I kept moving the box and asking you to list and you never did. And I ended up selling them for you. So at this point, I call it even. Anyways, the Anki was 30 bucks and <laughs> sold the remote for like 30, 25 or 30 bucks. And I've been selling the speakers. Uh, I tossed the receiver with electronics recycling stuff. And then these sold for? They sold for $38. And shit. that's how you win an argument, guys. It rarely happens, but just mark today that it did. Anyways, next item. Can't believe you right now. I called you out, man. I Can't called you out. You. And believe me, there's actually more stuff I could say. But we're not, we're not going to go there. <laughs> We're not, we're not going to go there. Next up, we have There's some cool Christmas gifts that still ain't been opened yet. Star Wars bag. I don't but, know what brand it is, though. I don't know if it is a brand. I mean, like... like it doesn't it's like say a, it is. It's just like a Star Wars bag. Yeah, just Star Wars bag. It's Star Wars Kohl's. tote bag with the wristlet. Uh, it does have uh, R2-D2 and C3PO on it. It does have some it. stains, which I showed. I might try to see if I can get those out with the magic ratio a little better, but... Yeah. It's a cool-looking bag, though. It's yeah. got the... Kind of like a kind of when they're on Tatooine, yeah. And the little money bag, what is it, like a makeup bag or like a money bag purse? It says it's a wristlet. Oh, well, either way, it was five bucks. At one of my favorite garage sales ever, it was five bucks, and everything was cheap there for $45. And I got my little portable vacuum that I used from there for five bucks. Oh, we like the purple one, yeah. That it was only nice. five bucks. I'm like, really? It's a little it's black and decker, so good, guys. it's only like a little handheld one. You just go around, it's for picking up little things that I use it all the time. or when you're doing like when we're doing little projects around the yeah. house or stuff, like you're drilling into the wall or when whatever. When I did all the cabinet, yeah, pulls. having that and just cleaning up your little area. So I have so all the awesome. little fillings and stuff, and I would drill into the cabinet so doors, awesome. and I was like, boop, boop. It was really cool, and you just charge it up. So we love it. <laughs> yeah, that's a really cool little vacuum. It was five bucks, so cool. Yeah, even if you're not, if you're only looking for resale stuff, look for stuff for yourself too around the house because people have to get rid of some good stuff, oh. and you're like. Why are you getting rid of this? <laughs> well, we found stuff for personal use. We found stuff for friends. Our friend one time needed a dog crate. The next day, I go to a garage sale and I find a dog crate for her in the right size that she needed. Yeah. We found stuff for your collection, your Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. 
found stuff to obviously to resell all kinds of stuff i we found had, stuff for crafting yeah, the, all the cabinet we needed you were looking for a cabinet for tori's room that you could redo yeah, the, i went to a sale and found it and it's the best it's just fun and you then it makes you it. feel like you're kind of repurposing something making it not go to a landfill or whatever it's just when you look at it i mean like that vacuum that shark vacuum would have been like a 50 dollar vacuum yeah probably i got it for five bucks it still works and we've used it a bunch of times and yeah. i'm gonna keep using it until it dies i love the thing it's amazing. and honestly if it broke, I would probably want to buy a new one because it it's is awesome. so handy just to not pull out the big vacuum. Just pull one you can hold. It's battery. It charges, so you can don't need a cord or anything. Nope, it's awesome. It's awesome. Um, next item here. Shark, hit us up for... Uh... Oh, it's Black & Decker. <laughs> oh, Black & Decker, hit I us up. I also use their drill, too, so... No. <laughs> yeah. So, next up, we've got... This is out of the $150 anime Ika buy. Tucson? This is... Iki Tucson. Never heard of it. Uh, it is season one, and it sold for twenty dollars shipped. By the way, even anime that's not like you know, there's certain anime that's explicit. Even when it's that not, kind of, it still looks there. like it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like sometimes it still looks like it's right on that level, but it's not apparently. Apparently, because that it's one for looks mature like it's... adult audience, but I don't think it's actually like a you know, you know, a corn. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, next item. <laughs> Up. We've got a Bosch Universal Mixing Bowl lid, only lid. Um, I, love, I love this item. I love reselling. I get really nerdy about it. But this is that mixing unit we sold. I got it for like I spent seventy five bucks on everything. We sold the base for seventy five. We sold the bowl for thirty something. The beater things for thirty something. The other day we sold another piece for eighteen bucks, and now we sold this for twenty five and twenty five. We parted out that mixer, and we are making plenty of money on it um, and i think i still have a couple little parts left so awesome. look for the bosch universal mixing thing it's a big unit it's heavy just look it up so you burn it in your brain so if you see it you pick it up and you don't have to ship the whole thing you can part it out and make plenty of money next up we got the book the march of the barbarians by harold lamb it's from 1940 and it sold for 14 dollars and it's from the change. old book that we spent 15 i think this means we're now in the profits we have a lot of books left but um yeah spent 50 not all my buys pan out as quickly as i would like but Okay. Next up, we've got a Boslawic Polish pottery. Sounds the best pottery. we've ever pronounced it. Uh, this is the cute little dishes. This one's like it looks like a clover kind of. This is called the peacock pattern. It's blue, green, and white. Uh, they call it the peacock pattern, I believe. I learned that after I started listing them, um, but this I believe is called the peacock pattern. This little Polish pottery, we've sold a bunch of this. And you guys, if you guys have been watching, you've seen us make money. What did this one sell for? This one sold for 33 and some change. 33. It's probably going to cost 12, 13 bucks to ship it because we got to get this thing padded nice and in a nice box. But some of this stuff, especially the plates, do very well if you can find it. Well, this is an old one, too. This is an Elvis Presley Magic Guitar. This is a vintage toy that is supposed to. I don't think it works. Play the music, I guess. Like, if, if it worked, it'd be cool. But uh, it does it's from drum. 2000. From 2000. Oh, that's not very vintage. Well, I know, but we just... Because it's Elvis Presley's vintage? No, it's because I just copied some It is going listing. global shipping program, and it sold for $38. I don't remember what buy the, oh, the Elvis buy. I guess I named the buy after this little one item. <laughs> but I think this is all I have left, because that's how old it is. But obviously, that's not really named properly. Because it's not very old though, because that's at the that's at mom and dad's house. Yeah, but I guess it, it's still out. we live there. It's over. A, it's almost two years now. <laughs> Man, we're getting old. Next up, we Especially got especially her. I'm aging a little bit more slow. Furby baby, he is cute and he is missing an eyelash and missing an eyelash. <laughs> he's only a dollar though, and he's adorable. He's only a dollar. It's like a yellow, and it's cool because it's got the this front's like a different, like an orangish. Is that it? And this is yellow on the side. You see that? Is yes, right? I see that. Yeah, Do for me it's that? a little bit harder. The colors, especially when they're next to each other. Surprised like you didn't it. ask me what color it was. No, I looked online. And when I sit, what... when I sit next to him on the couch when he's listening, he's like, "Babe, what what color is this?" And I have to look over. I'm like, "Blue." He's like, "How about this one? Purple." Is this brown? No. <laughs> it's better than making a mistake. Either way, this was a dollar. It does work. It had some corrosion, but he's missing a little eyelash there. He sold for uh, twenty eight dollars shipped. He's got the tag. Probably would have gone for like. 40 or so if he would have had the eyelash and been no corrosion but happy to get him and he, he sold within a day that was awesome not even within a day because you listed uh, him within four hours yeah because we were, I, got off I was work at church setting up for christmas he gets off work at early today like four o'clock and then 
lists it, and there you go. You sold, yeah, pretty quickly. That's this is nice. a cool one here, too. This is the Princeton Field Guide for Sharks of the World, and this one sold for $17 shipped. This would have been a cool thing to take a look at, but you anyway. like sharks? Yeah, I like sharks. You know, I'm super good at swimming, so. SeaWorld used to have this cool thing where you could swim with the sharks. Yeah, then someone got eaten. And then they can't. Anyways, next item. <laughs> next up, we got Check another, out <laughs> another bestie buy. This is a vintage Craftsman quarter inch handle extension spinner it's thing. Spinner E, one quarter inch. And it sold for fifteen dollars shipped. Guys, check out those tools, guys. I don't know. Tools, tools, tools. This is, the best part is it's just a little. We put a little cardboard around something like this. Throw it in the bubble mailer, first class. We make we made a lot of money on tools, and I probably have missed it in the past, but. You're not always going to find the vintage tools. stuff. Tools. <laughs> yeah, Linda likes tools. Anyways, is that it? <laughs> You're done. That's it. That's all we got. Um, it's it's. There's a couple minutes left. Maybe something else will come through. We have a couple items waiting payment. If not, we will both uh, see you guys in next tomorrow's video with what sells on Wednesday. So take care. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, we're making some Christmas cookies, the family, but we all wanted to say something on the count of three. One, two, three. Merry Christmas. Christmas. You guys, Merry there we go. Noah, nothing? <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching our channel. We appreciate it. We're just making some cookies, having some fun. We guys hope you have a wonderful time with your family.